All right, so this is Kwabana with OpenMV, and I'll be demonstrating today QR code detection on the new OpenMV Cam M7. So this is the new OpenMV Cam board. It's the same size as the previous OpenMV Cam board. We fixed a few things though. We have a uh, better USB connector now, which you can't rip off. And we also have stronger IR LEDs and uh, just in general a much faster processor so we're using the ARM Cortex M7 now this is the STM32 M7 65 VI and it features 512 kilobytes of RAM with a 216 megahertz processor that's capable of up to two instructions per clock with a 64-bit FPU and it also has two megabytes of flash. And so this whole system, if you really think about it, that kind of power is kind of equivalent to a Pentium 2 and a low-end Pentium 3. Okay, so now we're going to demonstrate the QR decoding capabilities. This is the OpenMV IDE right here, and we have our uh, screen buffer, our frame buffer of what the OpenMV cam sees, and we have uh, our coding window and a serial terminal. So the script right here is what the OpenMV cam will run. As you can see, it's about 20 lines of code. The first half of that is just to set the pixel format to grayscale and the resolution to QVGA. And then after that, we're going to do some lens correction on the image to undo barrel distortion. And after that, then we're just gonna call the find QR codes function. And that's gonna to return to us a list of objects that are QR, represent QR codes. And we're gonna print those. And that's the FPS we're getting right now without any detected QR codes. So let's begin. So as you can see, I can just point this directly at a QR code and immediately it starts filling the screen with what objects it sees. QR, decode, sorry, QR code detection is more or less automatic and easy to do. Just one line of code that you have to write and suddenly you have QR code detection in your application and you can then sort through QR code objects and decide what to do based on what you see. The QR code objects have a few different fields inside them. Mainly you have a bounding box and a payload. Those are probably the only two things most people are going to care about. But we also output the uh, QR code version information, the ECC level of it, uh, the mask information, and the ECI. These uh, extra fields, particularly the ECI, are useful for uh, doing QR code detection when you need to undo UTF-8 or work with UTF-8 encoding in the QR code. Anyway, so we can actually handle QR codes, you can see, that have stuff in the middle of them, like these two. So the system is quite robust. It's uh, tolerant to slight defects in the image. You can have a little bit of shearing either direction, so on and so forth. Uh, and it actually supports QR codes version 1 to 40. Now, for the higher resolution QR codes, you're not going to really be able to uh, look at them on the OpenMV cam, so you're going to want to stay to or low, the lower resolution ones. But it's not like we can't support the higher resolution ones at all. Let me see. I think we can get this one if we just reset the camera's settings. And let's see. Uh, yep, there we go. So as you can see, this one can pop in a little bit sometimes. A little bit harder for it to see, though, because it's very dense. Anyway. So that is QR code detection with the OpenMV Cam M7. Now we can actually go a lot faster than the slow frame rate of 4 FPS we're getting right now. So if we switch over to another script where we set the resolution to VGA, but then set a windowing where we're only looking at the 200 by 200 center pixels of the VGA resolution, this allows us to skip the barrel distortion correction step because we're just looking at the flattest portion of the image where the edges kind of start to bend from the lens itself. Anyway, so with this change, we can now back the camera up a little way from the screen, and now we're getting 10 FPS. Also about the barrel correction distortion, go about barrel correction being required anymore, the pixels aren't uh, damaged so much. So as you can see, this higher resolution QR code that we couldn't uh, view before, it's now picked up quite easily. That one's a little bit dark, but let me just uh, stop and start the script to get the, nah, too small. Get this one. 
Nah, it's way too blurry. Anyway, so... Oh, no, it's still moving fast. Oh, okay, there we go. So let's just look at some more lower resolution QR codes. Yep. All right, so that's QR code detection with the Open MVCAM M7. And as you can see, the system is robust and able to handle various QR codes in poor lighting situations. Best of all, once you detect a QR code, you can then take that payload string and do whatever processing you need with it on the OpenMVCAM 7 in Python, which makes string processing very, very easy, and activate your application to control IO pins or so on and so forth. So let's just uh, find the last QR code down here. I think there's a little cute one to look at, which is this little gerbil. Anyway, so yes, we can decode QR codes that have images inside of them. I'm not sure how you're going to create that, but if it's a valid QR code, our software will find it. Thank you for watching.